Our armed forces are the pride of Britain, the bravest of the brave, admired throughout the world, the most faithful defenders this country has ever had. Yet even as our service... The pride of Britain. So why aren't you looking after them when they come home from fighting boys in your blood clot imperialist wars? You got veterans living on the street, but yet they're the pride of Britain. <laughs> this men and women stand by us. Previous governments have trimmed and cheese paired our defense budget. Cheese paired. Does anybody know what the fuck that even means? I'm determined that the long era of spending cuts must end and it ends now. I'm increasing the defense budget. Yeah, spending cuts to the NHS, the emergency services, and the benefit system boys. Budget with a multi-year plan over the next four years, ensuring that Britain invests more in defense than any other European country and more than any NATO ally except the United States. But why, why, why? We got kids who are hungry in Britain and Boris wants to start some Ross Clark Wars. We'll embark on the full-scale modernization of our armed forces, equipping them with the new technology that will revolutionize warfare, creating thousands of jobs across the United Kingdom in shipbuilding and advanced manufacturing and emerging technology, leveling up our country and assuring that we build back better. I'm doing this in the- Listen, everybody knows we could have put that money into some renewable energy and man would have got the same amount of jobs. Instead, you're buying high-tech death machines and expected to get the same result. In the teeth of the pandemic, despite all the other calls on our resources, because the defense of the realm is the first duty of government. So let's end the era of retreat. Listen, retreat. Can somebody please tell me when Britain has been retreating? You have been involved in wars all over the world. You've been bombing Libya. You've been bombing Syria. Right now, your arm is involved in a bombing in a country with the worst humanitarian disaster in the world. Strength Look at that. Forces, you are literally showing, Boris, yeah? Weapons that kill people on the internet. Good. In a pandemic, in a crisis that we're all going through mentally, you're showing weapons that can destroy and maim people. I can't believe what I just watched. And that was just what I would consider an advert for war. You lot let me know what you think.